12 rounder to decide the vacant WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. Tanvir Ahmed, the Green Trunks from Glasgow. David Armstrong from Cape Coral, Florida. Black Trunks. Both boys weighing in identically. Uh, nine stone, eight pounds, ten ounces. That's just a couple of ounces or six ounces inside the lightweight championship limit of 9-9. Nine nine. And about Armstrong, we know very, very little. Ahmed was due to have, was due to have fought Paul Kawama, the Zambian who fights out of Italy now. But, uh, Kawama unable to make this. So David Armstrong, the mystery man. Yeah, well, he's had main fights. 11 fights, he's won nine and lost one and drawn one. And coming from Florida is like the, the other side of the, the States. So there's not too many fighters I know that have come from Florida that are world beaters at the moment. But these guys, you know, he's, he's got nine wins. And he'll be here to do a job and he'll be here to win a title. It's always his first title chance as well. And he'll be here to try and come and win the title. Well, any, anybody who, who comes in and fights for a title, you, you've, got to give them, you've got to give them respect. They, they wouldn't be there unless they were they were moderately competent. Tanvir Ahmed just returned from Pakistan where he's acquired himself a wife. He's now a married man. He's been training in Pakistan at altitude in the resort of Quetta. And if we get the chance to talk to him after this contest, We'll find out his plans because I do read that he's considering returning to Pakistan now to to, uh, to live with his new wife. And along with uh, Prince Nazim, I guess Tanvir is uh, the new face of Asian boxing in Great Britain. Number one contender, of course, for British title. Saw that terrific win against Alan Temple, but uh-oh, look at this. Look at this. Good little flurry. Yeah, that was a good flurry by Armstrong. A good, good finish to the round for him. Here we go here. He lunges in with his his left hand and pays the penalty. Doesn't move away. Doesn't come back. Doesn't get his guard up. Doesn't get his defense up. He lunges in and stays there. But it's Armstrong come off a three, four, five punch combination of his own. Second round then. Tanvir Ahmed in the green, David Armstrong in the black. And uh, good flurry by Armstrong. Tail end of the first round. Giving away a lot of height and reach to Tanvir Ahmed. That was just a slip. A bit of old advertising material. I think you can see here that, that uh, Tanvir's got a slight advantage. Uh, Armstrong's obviously never fought a southpaw before and his office is struggling. I mean, should be getting popping that jab out two and three at a time. Keeping him on the end of the jab because you can see Armstrong struggling a wee bit with the, the southpaw stance. What he mustn't do is let them get close to the fight and let him get into the fight. If he makes the fight close, then Armstrong can get right into it, keep him at long range. Well, 
Armstrong has won three out of his nine wins inside the distance, which doesn't suggest and he's a mammoth puncher. Tanvir Ahmed is a stiff puncher without being a, a devastating one-punch finisher. Has stopped his fair share, though. Roughly half his wins by the short route. Temple showed that uh, Tanvir Ahmed can get hurt. You can get through, you can catch him. Maybe also showed himself had two good and two professionals when he came back himself. And when some stage of that fight, he looked out in his feet, he came back and he went and he stopped. Temple was a really good one for yeah, him. Yeah, it certainly was. We saw that on Sky Scottish. Best fight that we featured in our series this year. Cautious start, shall we say. And while you watch some of the action from uh, the second he's, round. He's doing well, he started landing a couple of double jabs. Good left hand again. But I managed to try and sort of keep Armstrong right on the end of that jab because he's having, I think he's having a real problem with the south post hands. And he's got a good long reach, I mean, and he should be using that a bit, better, a bit more to his advantage. But just keep popping out the jab. There's a double jab and then a left hand. Quick word about the scoring system. We have three ringside judges, two from Scotland and one from England. They will score on the 10-point must system, 10 points to the winner of a round, nine, or in the event of a knockdown, eight to the loser. Referee Paul Thomas of England does not score. Round three, scheduled 12, remember. Still really waiting for this contest to... Really start moving. Tanvir Ahmed really biding his time before he gets a chance to fight for the British title, for which he's number one contender. That fight looks like being against Colin Dynamo Dunn. Because Michael Ayres is uh, almost sure now to be fighting out of the Gorian. The world title, in which case the British title would be declared vacant. Well, I think we can safely form a, a judgment, Gary, on uh, on David Armstrong, as he, although he looks strong and willing, I think he's a fairly limited fighter. Yeah, I think he's fairly limited, but you've got to give a bit of credit to uh, Tanvir. I mean, this is probably the best I've seen him in that one against Temple. Has really done his spirits the world are good, and he's done his confidence the world good. I mean, he's really buzzing. It's probably the best I've seen him looking so far in his career. For sure, Armstrong is not going to be able to out jab him. Well, 
That was a good right hand from the American. But he gets it, he buzzes away like a little hornet inside as David Armstrong. Difficult opponent. There's one thing for sure Armstrong wants to, he wants to mix it anyway, he doesn't want any old man. There's David Armstrong from Cape Coral in Florida. The one defeat was against a gentleman called George Crane when he was knocked out in three rounds. So clearly can be caught, can be hurt. Here we go. Both swinging at me through his right hook. Armstrong with his left hook on the ropes. That's the one thing that the, the Anverb mustn't do is, is if he lets him get close to him, he's going to let him into the fight. He's got to keep the fight at long range. And he'll have a lot more success if he keeps him on the end of the jab. If he lets Armstrong in to get into the fight in close range, he'll get he'll let him get right into this fight. Coming out for the fourth. They're wearing the uh, the Mexican Reyes gloves. Um, he would have a reputation as being gloves that uh, are suited to punches. I'm not quite sure whether we're classing Tanvir Ahmed as a puncher. They've made a slightly different construction to the uh, type of gloves you, you get in in, uh, in British boxing. Both weigh exactly the same, of course, but uh, the construction is slightly, slightly different. These are closed, what they call closed cell gloves. but he caught Tanvir Ahmed there with a corker of a shot and has the head cleared I wonder big big left hander from the American Armstrong that wasn't in the script and that was a good little counter from Tanvir Ahmed himself This is when Ahmed was his most dangerous last time. He was, he was hurt against Tempo, and all of a sudden he, he dragged it all up against, dragged up all the courage, and really looked for his second win and really got going and ended up stopping Tempo. Good round for the American. Well, this Traditional counter to the south pause the right hand, but that was a big left hook. Caught him on the side of the head, dropped him only momentarily. Let's take a full mandatory eight count, though. That will really encourage Armstrong. Customer is Armstrong. A little sawn off shotgun in there. Good round for him. Yeah, it was a good round. Look at that. That's a 10 8 round because of the knockdown. That's how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, shot. It was a good yeah, Absolute legit knockdown that. He's over the top, left thing over the top. He 
they covered well. I mean, he went down and got up. It was a sort of straight down and straight back up and took an eight count. Yeah. Oh, the American showing. The American showing that uh, here with a purpose. And that purpose is a winning purpose. Round five. And Tanvir Ahmed behind as a result of that knockdown. pointed out he does have the ability when you think uh, he's badly hurt to come back and surprise you there's Dan Vitt yeah, well he's starting to take control again of this one keep him at long range and that's one of probably the, the keys to his success in a fight against this against that so keep him at long range don't let him in close American fired up his arms from him in that he throws these these short scything hooks. And he comes in close and he dangerous punches. You can unzip an eyebrow in an instant if you're not careful. Yeah, the Americans they like to fight in close as well. They don't really like tend to hold too much. They no, they're, good in, they're, to they're, they're, they're good in fighters. Better than we are. Good round of so far for Tanvit. Once again, Armstrong does get through at close quarters. Certainly he's very strong. Not quite slight build the American, but he's, he's clearly had time to train and prepare for this one. Yeah, he's always if he's taking this fight at short notice or like a week or two weeks notice, he'll have been training for a fight anyway, so he should have been prepared for any fight. He may have had a fight coming up. But the trouble is with the Americans are always in the gym and they're always training. Side. This is why Ahmed doesn't want to let the fight get close. He's got to keep it at long range, just like that. Keep him on the end of the jab. Pop out his left hand. Armstrong's having some more success. When he starts getting in close to him, he's having a lot of success. Like good left uppercut there. at the halfway stage Arn Armstrong two points ahead it's only by virtue really of that knockdown
you've got so many physical advantages in this contest, you'd, you'd really like to see him make more of them, the height and the reach, but he constantly he gets drawn in inside. By yeah, he just seems to be standing off and not throwing enough punches. He's got to get his jab going. He doesn't see, he just seems to be standing in front of him and not really doing anything. He's like, no, I'm strong. Get off with his punches first. I mean, he's standing in front of me and he's got to start getting snapping his jab out. Whether it's landing or it's not, he's got to start snapping out. The more he lets Armstrong get in close to him, the more success Armstrong's going to be having. Yep. He obviously is like he's, he's, he's finding it hard to cope with the southpaw stance, so he's trying to draw him into a fight. That's it. Big, get the jab, the left hook going. Straight left hand, left hands to the body. I mean, he's too static. There's not enough work rate for him at the moment. That's much better. Really doesn't need to get drawn into this. He's not a good in fighter, Tanvir, and Armstrong is. And Armstrong well, is relishing this and is growing in confidence. The American also succeeding in, uh, in quietening the home support down a bit, too. Every time Tanvir get, get, gets it at a distance, he looks good. Get him inside, exactly the opposite. Being a bit close for comfort, this Gary. Yeah, so it's a close. I think it's, I think the knockdowns helped Armstrong. It's probably put him slightly in the lead. I mean, has to keep him on the end of that jab, and he's letting him in close like he is doing here. Armstrong's getting right into the fight. Well, so Amy has to keep him at distance, keep him at length, and start snapping at the jab. A little bit more work rate from from Amid, and the, 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 the fight might swing his way. Out for the seventh. Of this 12-rounder, Paul Thomas having a word about something. Don't know quite what. Certainly hasn't been a lack of action. At stake, the vacant WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship, which usually these intercontinental titles, usually but not always, usually lead to a world title fight within 12 months. Yeah, well, what it does if you win one of these intercontinental titles, it can, can boom you right in straight into like the not a number one spot, it puts you into the top ten, it puts you in contention for an automatic crack at a world title. That's right. He's having some success with that jab. Keep it a long range.
Tanvir walks him back into the ropes. Looking a little bit tired now. Just Tanvir Ahmed. Armstrong looks pretty fresh. He had some uh, little bout of food poisoning when he went to Pakistan in Tanvir. I'm not sure how uh, debilitating that was for him. Armstrong just looks much, much stronger. Yeah, he does. He looks as if he's getting on top of him. Oh, good combination from Armstrong. And Tanvir in a little bit of trouble in this round. This little feeling that we we're going to see an upset here. Still a long way to go. Still five rounds. Here we go, Armstrong. Yeah, he comes in with a little flurry. To your left uppercut. He's got Ahmed back to the ropes. And right again, right into Armstrong's hands. That's the way he wants to fight. He wants to fight close. There you go, we right hand uppercut. The shoot came in, but never put him down. He's still standing there, he's still in there. He takes a good shot. David Armstrong, these blaggy, baggy black boxing trunks. Really unknown quantity when they arrive. Anything but now, a real, genuine danger to all Tanvir's title ambitions. He'd still be number one contender for a British title, of course, but... Uh, The feet wouldn't do the morale much good. The jab at the moment just not strong enough to keep the American at bay. Yeah, and he seems to be boxed in the back foot. He's letting Armstrong dictate the pace here. He's forcing the pace all the way. He's coming forward. Starting to make the fight now a wee bit more. Seems to be in control. Seems to be enjoying it a lot more than Amy is enjoying it. He's simply got to keep the fight at a distance as Tanvir. Seems to have a, a built-in timer in his head. Always turns it on the last 20, 30 seconds. Sugar Ray Leonard seemed to be able to do that once upon a time. It was useful for nicking rounds.
that's a better range for him. I mean, he came back into that, especially after a poor seventh round. He came back, and I think he done well with that round. Kept it a long range, maybe just edged the round. Still desperately close. There we go, keeping it long range. This is where he's getting his best work done. This is where he's keeping Armstrong at bay and he's not he's not letting him get off with shots. Has to keep it at long range. So much more effective when he does keep it at a distance. Yeah, and now he's coming into a stage of the fight is really who or really who does want it most. I mean there's been four rounds to go. Well, it's about so many things, isn't it? It's fitness, desire, bottle, you name it. I think I mean, he's, uh, he's always having the best part of his fight when he comes out. The first 30 seconds, he really dominates. Of every round, he's dominated the first 30 seconds. This is where I think he should capitalise and come out and really sort of, maybe sort of take control of Armstrong and really charge him and put in a, a real good flurry of punches. That's much better. But Armstrong trapped in a neutral corner right above us. So he's got to do something, he's got, to win. he's got to keep him in there. This is the way he should be in. keeping a long range, snapping in the jab a little bit more, but just keeping him on the end of the jab. Yeah, this is uh, this is much better. This is the way he should have been fighting right from the off at long range. Suddenly, different ball game. Town there, Ahmed's gum shield, in the third row. A useful little breather for both boys, it has to be said. Does take a good shot, Ahmed. Yeah, because I'm throwing under that good left hook there. Yeah. That was the punch that decked him. I can't split them at the moment. I have to admit, with three to three to go. Uh, I think it's uh, fairly close. Whoever can dominate probably the last three rounds here has probably got a good chance of a fair chance of winning the fight. It's all down to the, the last quarter of the fight. Well, in the last three rounds, they will be tired. When you get tired, you make mistakes. 
who will capitalize on those mistakes I wonder who will make the mistakes in the first place with a flurry of punches the boys are in two good hooks to the body long range that's the way he's got to keep it His all perpetual motion is the American. Generally takes him about a minute to get into each round. He's going to make it a very difficult, difficult, hard fight for the three ringside judges. Al Hutchin and Len Mullen from Scotland and Nicky Van from England to score this contest. Yeah, this is the way he should have started the fight and the way he should have kept it going, keeping it at a long range. This is where he's having more, he's more success. And with two, three punch combinations in a way. Keep him on the end of the jab. Decent round for Tanvir Ahmed. Not clearly taking it, which on my card might give him just a slender lead. Good combination. That sounds cool with a good, good right hook. Straight hand left right hook. Straight left hand right hook. That is. I mean, had a good round there. So kept it at long range, kept him on the end of the jab, and then finished with a good left hand and then a right hook at the end there. Here he is moving about. Keeping him away with the jab. Right? So it doesn't even have to be landing. Good wee left hand uppercut. He's back to the corner. He's doing a three-four foot punch combination. Keeps him pinned in the corner. Just keeps sneaking out his jab. Well, six minutes. I wonder. Is that all that's between Tanvir Ahmed and his first professional boxing title? Could be. Didn't look like it at one stage. Well, he's just not going to get carried away and get drawn into a fight here. He's just still got to keep it at a long range and still a long time to go. A 12-round fight. I think this is his first 12-round fight as well. So yes, it is. Don't get drawn into anything. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't need to to do the macho bit. 
and get drawn into a brawl. Once again, comes in close, pays the penalty. I don't know why he does this. Doesn't need to. He's in danger of losing the advantage he built up over the past couple of rounds absolutely needlessly. One thing he finds to tend to find about the Americans, they're actually quite good in fighters and they're good at waiting for people coming in on them and they're like they, they come up with their shots like the uppercuts, uppercuts to the body and uppercuts to the head. So He's been good with his shots like when Tanvi sticks his head down and starts coming in. But he's still got to just uh, keep it at long range. That's the key to success for, for Armstrong. If he gets the fight and keeps it at close range, then it's, it's all to his benefit. Armstrong again. Good coming this in close again. Armstrong comes off better off on the, the inside. He's had like a good last four rounds, Hamid, with keeping the keeping the long range, keeping him on the end of the jab, backing him off into a corner. This is when Armstrong's been his most dangerous when he's kept in close. this final round. And the American will know he's, he's got to come and try and knock him out to do it because he'll probably think he's in somebody else's backyard. He's got to come and try and like, really win the fight. And, he's probably and right. On it, so. He's a confident character, David, a confident character. Well, he's certainly a cut above a lot of other American imports that we've seen over here. He's a live one, and he's a good fighter. And he's given Tanvir Ahmed all the trouble he can handle, and he's continuing to do that. Oh, and he's cut him with a big right uppercut. This is a big, big round for the American. Armstrong really giving it a go. And Ahmed forced to hold. Now I don't think he's got anything left in the tank. Not you. a drop. Not a drop. I think one good shot from the American could end this. Oof. He's... he's Flirting with danger 
It's Tanvir Ahmed. Oh! He's almost out on his feet. Well, this could yet swing it. What a, an extraordinary fight this is turning out to be. Out on his feet is Ahmed. Just 60 seconds, and this is a big round. No doubt that Armstrong's winning it. Armstrong, a little dynamo in this final round. 20 seconds. Well, I've got to say, I'll score them dead level. I don't think you can have it that way in a, a tail fight. I have. <laughs> Especially when it's vacant. Well, they do it all again. I have. I've, I've got it. I'll mail my colours to the mast. 115, 115. Now, of course, a judge can score it like that, but uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a. That's why we've got three judges for a majority decision. Maybe. Fascinating to see how this is going to turn out. Mark, you, somebody's probably won it by six rounds. That's always the way it happens when you think it's close. <laughs> Gary, how do you yeah, call this? Good round here. It's a fantastic finishing round for Armstrong. Landed a cracking right hand. The whole round was actually good. I mean, it's especially for a guy to come in like he's four from Florida. He's probably flown 12, 14 hours by playing and coming five. At five, six days' notice. Good performance. While you're Another watching this play. replay, scorecards are being scrutinised. Here we go. Six and nine is ten, and add one is fourteen, and take away three and add eight. And <laughs> I, this is uh, this is all good stuff. It's it's it is close. They're taking a long time. It can only be a draw if all three judges score it as a draw. And you've got to remember, you know, it's uh, we're in Tanvir Ahmed's backyard. Gary's. You reckon the you reckon the Yanks got it, Gary? Yeah, it could be a good possibility. The knockdown may have helped, you know, it's a yeah, big round for it's him. It's uh, a 10-8 round for him, so I mean, they could have swung it his way. It's <laughs> I, think, I, I think I'll go with American here. Yeah. This, uh, this, this, is, this is great stuff. You see, Mike Goodall is... One. He's trying to make sense of how they score it. Back to the, back to the scrutineers. Have we added the cards up correctly? Let's have one last... One last final check. Agonizing moments. And I think we are just, are we just about ready? Mr. Goodall, in your own time, sir. Today, tonight would be good. Ladies and gentlemen, uh Judge uh, Len Mullins scores the contest 115-114 uh, in favour of uh, Tanvir Ahmed. It is that close. Judge Mickey Mann scores the contest 117-112 in favour of David Armstrong.
down our hot putting that scores the contest. 115 at Tambi Ahmed, 115 at David Oh, it's a draw! The result is a draw. Well, I hate to say I told you so, but that is exactly how I saw it. 115, 115.